The auditorium for tonight's meeting was packed. Parents lining up to have their voices heard after a 14 year old student was allowed back into Connor High School after allegedly making a hit list with students' names on it, including the principal's child. Now, the Connor High School student is accused of making the threats on social media, which allegedly started when he attended Connor Middle School. Boone County deputies said in October they received two reports about the threats and quickly took the boy into custody and says he admitted to making the threat. The 14 year old is charged with second degree terroristic threatening. The status of those charges is still unclear. Just last week, parents found out the 14 year old was allowed to return to Connor High School. Tonight, many at today's board meeting say they are extremely worried for their children's safety when they leave for the day. Knowing this student who allegedly made violent threats is walking into the same building as them every day. Whatever help he has gotten, he is still a threat to be in an environment which fostered him to want to do a mass shooting and make a list of our students at Connor Middle School that are now in Connor High School. As the father of the child on the active kill list, my statements will reflect my opinion based on the information I received from Connor High School. When I received the call from the principal, it was emotionally devastating. All I could think about was my child in danger when they did nothing wrong. You know, parents tonight telling us they hope the board overturns this decision. They do add that they hope this 14 year old boy gets the help that he needs, but they are hoping and praying the board chooses to go in a different direction. Reporting live tonight, Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5.